Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on the back of our 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. So this can be a very nice bike rack if you're looking for something that's a little more compact, a little smaller, and you don't need such a high weight capacity. Why I say that? We are gonna be limited to a 40 pound weight capacity per bike. Now that's still excellent. I think a lot of people out there, that's gonna be all we really need. <coughs> Excuse me, but if you're looking at something like an e-bike or maybe a longer bike or a really big mountain bike that starts exceeding that weight, um, if you really like the model you're going to be seeing here today, you could always look at the Kuat NV 2.0. That's going to raise this capacity from about 40 to 60, and you're still going to see a lot of the great features on the, Sher on the Sherpa as you would on that NV. So that's my one recommendation. I really do like this guy, though. With the capability that it has, it's great for your smaller bikes, but it also looks really good doing it. We today have it here in the gunmetal gray with the copper orange accents, which I really like. If you're not quite liking this style or you want to complement your own vehicle at home, it is also available in pearl and metallic black as well with their own respective um, kind of contrast, which is pretty cool. So obviously the looks on it, always a big thing for Kuat, but again, they do a great job of producing a quality carrier here. What I like about it, we are getting this front tire hold. That's keeping our bike in line with our carrier. And one thing that's great about that, it can carry your carbon frame bikes as you're seeing here today. And if you do have any women's bikes, step through bikes, kids bikes that maybe has a harder time, you know, adapting to your more traditional frame mount designs, we don't have to worry about that. As long as we have one good front wheel, We'll have a decent time of actually securing our bike and making sure it gets the trailhead where we want it to go, which is cool. So really, really do like this guy. Um, here on the cradle system, you are seeing that front cradle that can come up and give yourself a nice little backing. Now, as I said earlier, not gonna be the greatest for your longer wheelbases out there. 47 inches for that wheelbase is gonna be your max. And again, that NV is gonna be a little longer if you're having trouble with that wheelbase. But one thing I like about it, that front cradle does a great job of giving us an awesome backer for that wheel. So even if our rear cradle is oscillating even more towards the back, we're still going to have that front plate that's holding us on. So I really do like how that works. You also are seeing a little locking core available to put your included cable lock through both of your bikes, plug it right back in, and therefore it's going to stay nice and secure when you leave it on your carrier unattended. So that's great to see. Now these arms work really, really easy. All you got to do, pressing that button to lift it, clamp it down, won't be popping up unless you need it to. Um, you have a really decent rubber hold on here, so it's not gonna be damaging your bikes, which is great to see. And overall, I really do like those front tire hold setups. They just seem to really secure my bike and they don't damage it, which is awesome to see. But yeah, one great thing about this, it can actually tilt away from our vehicle while our bikes are still on it. To do that, all I have to do, come to this little lever right here, pull it towards me, and that's gonna let me tilt this down towards the ground. Now you will see on the Tiguan here, already a pretty low hanging hitch. And I think that's gonna be this biggest issue for people is the clearance on the Tiguan. But let's go ahead and open this hatch now to show what we have the room to actually get that open. Now we can get those bike helmets, coolers, anything else I might need on the inside. And it makes it a lot easier just to get up to a gas station or do some errands while you still have your bikes on the back of your vehicle without having to take it off, right? Which is great. So always love to see that. I can actually get access to my cargo. And to walk it back up, all I have to do, simply support it, walk it in towards my vehicle. It's gonna latch itself. No pins or clips I have to worry about, which is great to see. Before I actually take the bike off though, let's take a look here at how it's interacting on our Tiguan from the back so we can get a good idea of what it's doing. Now I will say it is gonna be interacting pretty poorly here right on our tail lights. Now we have good distance there. So especially if at night as we're braking, I don't think people are gonna have trouble seeing us. We also have that top cowling element, which is great for letting people know when we are braking. But do keep in mind, you're gonna see a little loss of visibility for people behind you there. And you are starting to get a little bit into your rear window here, just with our handlebars and our seat posts. And especially if you had some of your taller bikes, you're gonna see that um, definitely interacting a little more there and heavily. So checking out our backup camera though, it is just a little offset towards our passenger side. If you had two bikes on here, you might have a decent amount of viewing. Again, that's gonna be up to how much stuff we actually have on our bikes. I'm gonna be more interested though of when we fold this up how that interacts. I think we're gonna lose a lot of visibility there. And unfortunately, that's just something that happens with a variety of carriers out in the market. So kind of pros and cons, of course, of just having a hitch mounted bike rack. Well, let's go ahead and actually take this bike off. I'm gonna start with my rear wheel here, pressing right there on that strap. It's gonna allow me to take it out. On the inside of that strap, you are seeing a little bit of rubber matting. Love to see that. That way we're not damaging our rims, of course. Kuat doing a good job of being worried about us, which is great to see. 
And that brings us to our last hold on our bike. So we want to make sure we are holding onto it. Don't want that tilting under our vehicle or ourselves to cause any damage. And then we simply press on that button, bring that arm up, out to the side, and now I can lift my bike off and get ready to ride. So mounting it, your biggest issue you're going to have is going to be that rear wheel. All you got to do, lift it, set it in place, and then start securing it down. So really doesn't take too much time, and then you're already ready to ride or load it up. And this condenses down pretty well too. You know, I can just bring that in, bring my arm in, of course, reset my straps here, and bring it down. If you're feeling really crazy, you can always kind of push this out to the side, pull it in. Um, that gives you a decent amount of edge, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and honestly, it doesn't work as well as you start seeing on some of the other carriers. And what I mean by that is just securing this hook behind here. It works a little bit, but not quite as well as others. But I digress. I'll leave that up to you guys of how you actually want to store it. A couple things to keep in mind with any hitch mounted accessory though, we are going to be adding length to our vehicle. It's Guan, not the shortest vehicle out there, but not the longest. And my biggest issue is the Guan already sits very, very low, including that hitch that we have on there. So let's take a look here at our clearance. I think this could be a big issue for some out there. Our first one I want to get here is all the way at the end. That's putting us at about 17 and about one quarter of an inch. And on the bottom here where our anti-rattle device is, that's going to be putting me about nine inches to that bottom post um, right there. So not a lot of room. My concern with that is as those front wheels go up, the back will go down and so will your hitch mounted accessories. So I would just say if you find yourself approaching a very steep incline like a driveway or even just a hill, take it nice and slow. We don't want to have any poor interactions. Now, it doesn't immediately concern me, but I definitely would want to stay safe out there. So just take it, uh, take it day by day, right? Be a little safe out there. So from the back here, we have our length that we're adding to our Tiguan from the back of the bumper here to the very end, that's putting me at 31 and a half inches to the very back. So definitely not crazy. Two bike platform rack stain within 35 inches is great to see. And now I do want to fold this up to do that. Instead of going down, I'm going to pull that lever one more time and go straight up with it, locking in this position. I do like this position. It doesn't take up too much room and there's gonna be no rattle behind here, which is great to see. And again, no pins or clips, just gotta walk it up and it does all the work for me, which is great to see. And that is gonna reduce our length down quite a bit. Now from the back of that bumper to the very end of my carrier, that is now gonna put me at 13 and one quarter of an inch. So really reducing that length. That's one thing I really like about the Sherpa. It's nice and low profile. doesn't take up a lot of room, whether you're storing it or you just have it here on the back of your Tiguan. Now, one thing about that backup camera, though, it is going to be seen right into this main element here. So you might have a little visibility here, but I think you are going to lose almost all of that backup camera. So do keep that in mind. And that's almost something, like I said, you're going to run into with a variety of carriers out there. If that's something that really concerns you, you could look at something like the Kuat Transfer. That uh, The Kuat Transfer V2 has a unique U-shaped design that makes it just a little easier to see out of. But at the end of the day, backup camera, not the worst thing to lose out on if you are getting a nice hitch bike rack carrier. But moving our way down, down here, we can see we do have a two inch shank here today. Held in, of course, by our two inch hitch receiver. On the inside of that, you're seeing an alignment pin with a locking core on it that will be keyed alike to your locking core on your platform. It comes with your bike cable, which is great to see. So therefore, you're securing both your bikes to your carrier and your carrier to your car. And key to likes always nice because not so many keys. On the inside here though, you're seeing your anti-rattle knob and all you have to do, tighten it to the right, just as you saw on the inside of that, you are seeing a little insertment point to really cinch it down, which is great for your longer road trips where you don't want to check it all the time. And just to make sure, give you that peace of mind that it is secure. What that's doing is tightening the cam on the inside of our shank to our hitch taking all that shake and play out. And as you guys are going to see, as I give this a shake, it's going to be moving the entirety that's going on here, just like so. And there's all that shake and play that naturally be out there, just reduced. And therefore you're not feeling it in the back here. It's going to be a way smoother ride for yourself, your bike rack, but especially your bikes, which is great to see. So overall, I really do like the Sherpa here. I love that it's nice and um, you know low profile. It's not going to be really, really long. But again, I think that's going to be limiting to some people out there. If you really need that weight capacity, you could look at something like the Kuat Envy for seeing a lot of the features you like here today. However, I will say it can be a little bit more on the expensive side. So if you guys want my recommendation, I really, really like the Rocky Mounts Monorail 2 bike platform rack. It's just a great way of getting a lot of the features you're seeing here today, albeit um, maybe not as cosmetically pleasing to some. So 
I'll leave that decision up to you guys though. Honestly, Sherpa, still an excellent choice. If you're not needing a high weight capacity and you're just wanting something to actually get your bikes to that destination, that way you can start having some fun. Otherwise though, guys, I think that about does it for our look here today at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on the back of our 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. I'm Bobby, thanks for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps. And we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.